Going for a run, I'm going for a run. I can't think I'm going for a run. <laughs> Three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this new crazy mother. What's up, crew? Uh, good old Friday. Mom's in town, which is kind of cool. And, uh,. Gives me an opportunity to go to the early class, so I'm going to 3.30 right now, and she's watching Dylan, and then uh, get back home and hang out with her, wait until Sarah gets home, have some dinner, you know, do them family things. What I wanted to do for today's video is sort of answer one of the questions or topics that someone brought up, and I figured this is a good one to start because it kind of explains how and why I came, uh, came to extreme athletics and the different gyms that I've been a part of, kind of the reasons why I maybe moved away from those gyms and ended up where I am today. it off my CrossFit journey started in 2011 late 2011 or mid 2011 and it was by recommendation from a co-worker who I had worked with at Netflix I uh, was a staffing coordinator he was a, re a sourcer or no he was a recruiter he would I would pass him interviews wait I would schedule the interviews for the people he was recruiting, basically. And we became friends through working at Netflix, and then he he said, you know, have you tried CrossFit? Because I had mentioned that I was doing the Gold's Gym thing, kind of in between thin, uh, gyms because we had just moved. And uh, it just so happened that there was a CrossFit gym right down the street that he was going to, and this was CrossFit San Jose. So I joined up, enjoyed the culture, enjoyed the type of uh, workouts that they were hitting they were similar to what we were doing in you know double days in football and i figured that's the type of workout i need i stayed at cross at san jose for about five years is that right 2012 to 2014 two years what the heck uh, i was at cross san jose for about two years uh one of those years i spent coaching actually it might have been three years and it's a really good time you know i really enjoyed coaching people this was the first place that gave me sort of actually one of the first places that gave me the chance uh, or took a chance on me to be a coach and allowed me to take on a lot of different responsibilities. I helped build some of the things that they still use in the gym for storage. The community there was pretty big and pretty awesome and what it came down to was uh, personal growth for me as far as an athlete and a little bit of a disagreement as far as programming is concerned with the owner. And at the time, I wasn't ready to swallow my pride and sort of just let him run his business. And uh, there was just a point where I had to walk away. From there, I went to Mayo, CrossFit Mayo, which is where I work out with Taylor Foose on Saturdays. That was just sort of a transition period for me. It was just like trying to find a, another community for me to join in. Uh, Cross of Mile is awesome. They have a great sort of way that they run their gym. Part of it was for proximity. I lived really close by, so after work I could drive to the gym and then it would only take me about three minutes to get home from there. And I love Cross of Mile for this, the fact that they, they really, really work their butts off to make that gym what it is and they have three owners and all three owners can be seen in the gym at least 70% of the day 
and at times all three of them are coaching the class, but there's no less than two of them coaching a class at a time. So there's always two of them there to help out and get give their community what they wanna give. And leaving CrossFit Mile was really a matter of moving again and having a new proximity uh, to the gym that I am now, CrossFit Extreme, and the opportunity to train around and potentially with Neil Maddox kind of gave me a little bit of a, a reason to switch to CrossFit Extreme. Gonna be a five in the AMRAP. I'd always wanted to be able to train with a, an athlete at that level because I have before while I was at CrossFit San Jose I trained with uh, Ashley Caravu and during that time it was probably the the most I had gotten out of CrossFit than I ever have I mean it was I could probably attribute that to just how much we trained it was volume high volume so like football the reason why I loved football training is because we did three a days for hell weeks and then even when we were like training for games it was just non-stop in the gym uh, on the field just crushing it so when I was training with Ashley it was just so much work and that was what I was used to so I wanted to find that again and I'm slowly finding that uh, training at extreme of course having a, a baby and being a stay-at-home dad makes that a little bit more difficult uh, but as Dylan grows and I'm able to take her more places without having to worry about bottles changing this and that then maybe I'll be able to up my the time I spend in the gym I've been at CrossFit extreme for a year now and I can't say that I'd be interested in leaving at any time soon now of course I am also training at brick house fitness uh, on Wednesday nights because that's with daily Steve and we have a cool thing going I really like working out with him he is that level of athlete that I can actually get closer to working with because he he isn't a games level athlete uh, I mean I, I hope one day that that guy can can make it because that'd be freaking awesome but he's he's definitely regionals level and maybe even like a high placing regionals level so I, I hope to see him at the Cal regionals this year but that's the type of person that I need to train with often and then I'll also train at CrossFit Mile on sun Saturdays uh, with Taylor Foos because again it's another guy that he's kind of more my level and I can sort of keep up with him of course I still haven't quite gotten to that body weight or that mental push to where I can actually stay rep for rep or round for round with Taylor but hopefully by training with him I can get closer to that um, and then I go to SPS every once in a while and that's for video shoots and if I'm there during a time that I would have normally worked out I'll try to get a wad while I'm there Two, one, two. Bone 12 push rack.
That was nasty. Is that what's gonna be in the open? What do you think is gonna be in the open? What do you know? A chaotic answer to a simple question. I've been, I started at CrossFit San Jose, stayed there for about three years, coached for about a year and a half. Went to CrossFit Mayo for, I think it was about four months, actually maybe two. Extreme transition, like, that's nothing about the gym itself, it was just, you know, where I was living. It was, it's now out of the way compared to where I live now. And then now it's extreme, CrossFit Extreme Athletics. For how I feel, I don't see any other gym that I would go full time to. Um, of course things can change at any moment in time, but I really do like being at extreme. The culture there is like, it's, it's that type of culture that should be every single CrossFit gym. You walk in, everybody knows your name, everybody's glad you came. I don't know the rest of that song, so I can't really continue. I'm super blown out by the sun, sorry about that. So it, it's the three things I mentioned in one of my Motivational Monday videos. There's community, they all know who you are and they keep you accountable for getting into the gym and working your ass <laughs> and not just moving through the motions. The coaches are superb because Neil Maddox is a stickler for making sure he hires the right people. Those coaches know what they're doing, know how they're coaching. They make sure to reach every single person in the class. No one is left wondering, I wonder if coach saw me do that. And lastly, they're all about commitment. They have a wheel that if you're late, which I'm cutting it close right now, or if you forget to sign in, they hold you accountable and make you spin the wheel, which is literally all the worst things that you can ever imagine. There's like a 10,000 meter row, there's like a burpee for 10 minutes or longer or something, or 100 burpees or whatever. That's the kind of stuff that changes your mindset when you go to the gym. You have more accountability to show up and do what you're supposed to do. I feel like I've learned so much being at CrossFit Extreme, um, and it's helped me grow as an adult, because it's been taking me a long time. That's today's video. Hopefully it looks good intermixed with the workout that I'm about to do. I hope you enjoyed it. This new for format may or may not be uh, for a while. I think if you've been around, you might have noticed that I, I typically do things in chunks, and it's really me making an effort to continue to evolve. Like someone mentioned in the comments, I, I like what I'm doing, but I wanna see if there's something else that I can do that's either better or helps me deliver great content to you guys. So also thank you who, those of you who've given me feedback that's like, no, I like what I see, I'm here because of that. That helps me out too. And uh, you know, some of you have called me out on some things and hey, I'm down for that too. Like that's, that's the kind of stuff that I like to see because it helps me better myself and this channel. But yeah, so if you're new, subscribe. If you're not new, hit that like button, share this video, let's grow the crew. And if you'd like to file a complaint or send some positive vibes, leave a comment. And till tomorrow, back, 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 I'll see you later, crew. Back, back, back.